2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Lai Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew, interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this lesson is going to be entitled Faithful Men. You know, around the lines of faithful men. All right, and um, I just want to see, you know, why I'm here in uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 2. I want to see what it says about faithful men. Now it says the word faithful, which is a Greek word. Psalms G, 4103, pistos, pistos. All right, and it means trusty, faithful. All right, so the Lord is looking for faithful men. Okay, men that are trusty, faithful. It says um, of persons who shows themselves faithful in the transaction of business. You see, the Lord is looking for faithful men that's going to handle his business, okay, handle his ministry in faith and trust, you know, according to the ways that we were taught by Yahweh Shai, all right, striving lawfully. So it says, of a of person who shows themselves faithful in the transactions of business, you know, an honest man, you know, here it is, um, for an example, you know, my, my one of my brothers, you know, he a, he a badass, you know, he's a, you know, and I remember years ago when we was young, my moms were um, sent us to the store, you know, and she would send him by herself with her card. And instead of him getting what my mother told him to get, you know, he'd get that and some, you know, and come back, won't give my mother her receipt. And little do you know, he got a hundred dollars in his pocket because he stole it, you know, but then, you know, uh, not to speak of myself, Salaki, I just want to make a, a point. But when I went, you know, not knowingly, I was in the world, I was young, I will always come back with my mother card and receipt. And she used to always tell me, you know, you, 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 you're you faithful. I can trust you. I can't trust your brothers. You know, so the, I, I can see what the Lord is looking for within his truth. Because by being in his truth, you honestly, you know, you can see demons. You can see, you know, uh, uh, men that... That, that that are really uh, wolves in sheep clothing. You know, they come into the truth. You know, they're excited. They're teaching everybody, telling everybody they're an Israelite. But then all of it, then all of a sudden, they pervert the gospel. All right. So it says, trusty, faithful of persons who shows themselves faithful in the transaction of business. Um, the execution of commands and a discharge of official duties, one who keeps his polite faith worthy of trust that can be relied on. So the Lord can rely on faithful men, which is the elect, all right? Believing, confidently, trusting, right? Right, so that, that's basically, oh, let me get down to the um, translation Strong's G4103. Faithful, believe, believing, true, faithfully, believer, sure, Strong's definition, trustworthy, all right, trustworthy, trustful, believing, sure, true. Okay, so I believe you got the picture. This is a quick precept, Matthew 24 and 45, who then is a faithful and wise servant? <laughs> Okay, I thought, all right, and that's the words of the Lord. This is Matthew 24 and 45. Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord have made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Okay, this is another one. Matthew 25, 21. His Lord said unto him, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou has been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of, of thou Lord. And, and, that, and that's the goal, man. 
you know, is to receive that penny, which represents salvation. And, and, and being that we're trustworthy with the Lord and his absent now to handle his word uh, uh, honestly, you know, not deceitfully. The Lord will make us trustworthy over many other things, which is which is in the Lord's house. You know, remember, the, Yahweh Shai said he go to prepare a place for us. He said, in my father's house is many mansions. All right. So if we can, you know, if the elect today is trustworthy and faithful to the Lord's work while he's while he's absent. OK. In the flesh, because he's with us spiritually. Then how much more when the Lord is with us? You know, he know he's can he can trust these men. And that's why the heavenly father appointed unto Yahweh Shai elected men of Israel, because within Israel, there's a chosen within the chosen. You know, so that's what this thing is about. This thing is about the elect. It's about the faithful men because it's, you know, it's, it's start, you know, and I'm saying men because it starts with the men. All right. So now let's get back to the scripture. This is Second Timothy 2 and 1. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. That's what the Lord delight in. You know, men that's going to be honest and teach the truth, not teach lies and pervert the gospel or to scatter the Lord's sheep. Remember, the Lord said, he that don't gathereth, scattereth. You know, now this is verse three. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, you know, because there's going to be bumpy roads. There's going to be uphill battles and downhill battles, you know, walking in his truth is truly walking through the straight gate, hard and narrow. So whatever it is that we go through, these men are being, you know, purified and made white, which is the elect. All right. The faithful men. And it says, thou therefore endure hardness. So it's all about endurance. Okay, it's all about being faithful to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It's all it's, 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 it's about being honest with yourself first, because Paul said, "Have thou faith, have it to thyself before the Most High." So you know you got to be honest with yourself. All right, it says, "As a good soldier in Yahweh Shai Mashiach," because that's truly what this battle is. It turns you into a soldier. You know, you endure in hardness. Verse four. It says, no man that wareth entangle himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. So we're no longer, you know, uh, entangling ourselves with the ways of the world in which we was before, you know, when we were called Gentiles. All right. In the frame of mind, you know, we was walking in the ways of the world. We was doing what the world was, was doing. We was being niggas. We was breaking the Lord's law, you know, but that was in our ignorance. Now, these men who the Lord have chosen and woken up, they're not entangling themselves in the ways of the world. They're not taking a, 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 a hammy out or, or, or the Judas purse, we call it, you know, a, a, a sellout bag from Esau to pervert the gospel, to tell you that all the tribes are just Negroes now. You know, you haven't seen the men, uh, the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone change their doctrine, you know, and, and change the whole gossip and pervert the gospel. And these men are found worthy because they've been teaching for over 30 plus years, man. You know, some of us brothers was just babies when Elder Apostle Tahar was out there teaching, you know. And all he and all he have taught was the honesty of the truth of the gospel. All right. Which is these prophecies, you know, the history, you know, uh, 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 you know, the, the gospel itself, the good news, man. You know, that's the way we got to strive in this truth. That's what the Lord looked for. The Lord don't care about um, the feelings of other men. So we're not in his truth to please other men, you know, to make certain people feel good. You know, if this truth makes you feel good, then that's then that's beautiful. Because the scriptures say, he that is in trouble, come rest with us. He that heareth the most high, heareth us. But if this truth, this gospel that we teach in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah offends you, then you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Or before the Lord wreck you, man. All right. So it's all about honesty and truth. That's what the Lord is looking for. He's looking for faithful men. And that would be the elect. So it says, no man that wars entangle himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. So the Lord have chosen certain men to be a soldier, a soldier in this spiritual war of ours. Not a soldier like Esau's soldier that's going to stockpile guns and bullets 
and doomsday prep, go to the fire range, you know, and practice on shooting east, you know, shooting people. That ain't what the Lord's soldier is. The Lord's soldier is a, is a spiritual war. Okay, the Lord's soldier is a man that can fight the, the demons that 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 come across his mind, man. That that enter into his conscience, you know, so that he don't live for his flesh and emotions. He live for the spirit, all right, and motivation and faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you know, not the emotions of man, you know, but the emotions of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and the passion and the love, all right. It says, um. Verse 5, and if a man also strive for masteries, yet he is not crowned, except he strive lawfully. So ain't none of us crowned, uh, okay, until Yahweh Shai come. And Yahweh Shai is, hey, the Lord is going to show who is the ones that's going to be crowned, okay? Because why? They strive lawfully. You have to strive righteously, not wickedly, you know? Because it's not about, you know, it's a beautiful thing to know that you're an Israelite or to know of this truth. But if you're not walking in the truth, then what good is it for you? You know, a lot of people could say, oh, I know the Hebrew Israelites. They could speak their opinion on the Israelites. They could say this about the Israelites. You know, they could, you know, they could say all types of things. But, it, but guess what? If they're not walking in this truth as an Israelite and striving lawfully in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability, then guess what? What good is it for you? All right. So it doesn't matter, you know, if you know that you're an Israelite or not. That's a beautiful thing to know because it is important to get the knowledge. But if you're not walking in the truth, all right, off camera, you know, being sincere, being honest with yourself first and then uh, honest with brothers, you know, praying to the Lord, then what good is this truth for you? It's just a, it's just destruction, you know, waiting upon you, man. So anyway, it says, and if a man also strive for masteries, yet he is not crowned, except he strive lawfully. The husband man that laboreth must must be first partaker of the fruits. So any man that, you know, labor in this truth, a hey, and, and to be the elect, you must be partakers of the first fruits. And that's the elect. This is why here at Great Millstone, start with our apostles, they taught us, hey, you know, this thing is all about the elect. And when you read the scriptures, you could clearly see that. This thing of ours is all about the elect of Israel, okay? It's all about the Lord gathering the elect. The scriptures say in Revelation 7, you know, uh, uh, he hold back the four winds until he sealed the the, uh, the minds of the elect, roughly paraphrasing, okay? Till he sealed the elect. So it's all about the elect. And the elect is going to walk honestly, man, you know? Not pervert the gospel, not, not put their hand to the plow and then go back into the world and then come back years later and talk about data elder and this and that. The elect not doing none of that, man. The elect, when they heard this word, they walked in it. When they put their hand to the plow, they didn't look back. And they continuing to keep fighting this, this daily fight every day. You know, this war in the spirit, man. You know? Praying, you know, and doing what the Lord delight in, man. And that's striving lawfully. All right? It says, consider what I say. And the Lord gave thee understanding in all things. Remember that Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the seed of David, was raised from the dead according to my gospel, wherein I suffered trouble as an evildoer, even unto bonds. But the word of the Most High is not bound. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach with eternal glory. All right, so you see. You know, Paul said he endured all things for the elect's sake. For the elect's sake. So all the trouble and affliction that he went through, he endured it so that what? He can come out of it when the Lord, you know, make a way for him to escape and he can go teach. You know, he gained that experience and he can teach the rest of the elect, you know, on how to get through, you know, and see salvation. He taught the way of salvation, man. All right. Yahweh Shai taught the way of salvation. Paul taught the way of salvation. Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, they taught the way to salvation. That's what it's about. They not a, the, the, These men of the Lord did not uh, tear down what the Lord built. You know, Paul, Yahweh Shai even said with Paul, you know, when, when Paul was Saul, okay? He said, it's hard for me to kick against the pricks because Paul, at one point in his ignorance, he was tearing down what the Lord was building. So what the Lord did, the Lord recruited him.
<laughs> in all reality, he was of the elect anyway. And that was for his experience and his tell, his story, so that could give shed more light upon the rest of the elect that's going to be woken after him. You see? So the Lord did do everything, man. You know, he does everything. Everything is done for a reason and purpose. As the scriptures say in Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, there's a time and season um, and purpose under the heavens, man. You know, even Paul, whole lot from him in his state of ignorance to he woke up and Yahweh Shah taught him one-on-one, -on -one, you know. It was all done for edification's sake, showing you that the Lord uh, elect come from all, all types of walks of life, you know. But guess what? When they wake up, they're going to they're gonna be a brother. They're not going to be a nigga no more, you know. They're going to uh, uh, strive in this truth lawfully, and they're going to be found worthy of the one of the faithful men as we read him all right faithful men it says consider what i say and the lord gave the understanding of all things remember that yahweh shai of the seed of david was raised from the dead according to my gospel wherein i suffered trouble as an evildoer even unto bonds but the word of the most high is not bound therefore i endured all things for the elect's sake that they may also obtain salvation which is in yahweh shai mashiach with eternal glory it is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. So when you're adding and taking away this script, these, these scriptures in which you have learned, you're denying the Lord. So the Lord is going to deny you. You know, I'm going to quote it again. The Lord said, he that don't gathereth, scattereth. All right. So you remember that, you know, when um, you go out and, and teaching falsely uh, against Israel, you know, trying to tear down what the Lord built. All right. Either way, the scriptures say you could do nothing against the truth before the truth, you know. So you're just found as an example of the wicked men anyway, because the end, the Lord already, you know, spoke of the end from the very beginning. You know, everything is pan panned out. You know, everything is played out. You know, it's playing out and it plays right into his lot and his purpose. You know, Esau can't disrupt prophecy. You are prophecy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you are prophecy that you're going to fall, man. When you go and force this chip, you eat a mites or, or, you know, you're right on line and doing what you're supposed to do according to the Lord's movie. Plain and simple, man. All right. Just as well as these uh, wolves in sheep clothing, these men of Israel that teach that they're Israelites, but they pervert the gospel. Or they're looking for vainglory, you know, self-proclaimed, entitled, you know, self-entitlement, you know, you know, want to be the YouTube sensation, superstar, you know, all of that, man. Anyway, it says, um, it says, if uh, if we suffer, we shall reign with him. If we if he if we deny him, he will all he will deny us. If we believe not yet, he abided faithful. We cannot deny himself. Let me read that again. If we believe not, yet he abided faithful. He cannot deny himself. <laughs> of these things, put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord, that they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And, and the last lesson yesterday was about ashamed, you know, so studying this word, you know, it helps you not to be what? Ashamed, okay? Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, you know, honestly, rightly, okay, uh, dividing the word of truth, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little, all right? It says, but shun profane and vain babbling, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. All right. You know, and that's basically the point. I wanted to make this quick and put it to the, uh, get it to the point. Got interrupted. I'm going to have to tie these two pieces of videos together. And Lord willing, I hope you were edified, man. You know, the Lord is looking for faithful men. All right. He's not looking for men that's looking for self-glory, you know, in this wicked flesh that we in. You know, Yahweh Shai didn't come and glorify himself Yahweh Shai did the work of the heavenly father and he was glorified within the father it was the father that glorified him it was the father that gave him the power to do the miracles and things it was the father inside of him man. 
okay? His, the Father's spirit was on Yahweh Shai, and now Yahweh Shai's spirit is on us, which is those of the hopeful elect, and that's to continue the gospel in which he taught. Teach the prophecies, man. You know, you want to build. You know, that the word edify means to build. We're looking to build Israel again, and right now the Lord is building, you know, the tabernacle of David, and it's spiritually, not physically, as these Edomites are striving to build you know, the tabernacle of David physically, as if they can. You're a heathen. You can't build. You can't build with us. You know, whatever you build, the Lord going to throw down. It's, it's profane. It's, it's outside the temple, man. Okay? It's defiled. No heathen can build for the Lord when he have chosen his own people. You know? And he have basically, you know, chosen the elect. And the elect right now is building. While Esau is trying to tear down the spiritual building, the spiritual house. But the Lord is going to tear down the physical house And he's going to uplift the spiritual house You know, so it's all about Being a faithful man of the Lord Let me read this again and I end it with that uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 2 And the things that thou hast heard of me Among many witnesses The same commit thou to faithful men Who shall be able To teach others also So faithful men Are out now Teaching other men this this gospel of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And I'm going to say it starts with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. All right. So, with that, I hope you were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Uh, Bahashem Rakakwadash. All right. Uh, salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Um, all, uh, excuse me. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. All right. And Bahashem Rakakwadash. In the name, all right, Spirit Holy, Holy Spirit, because that's truly what it is that the Lord has put upon the elect. They have the Holy Spirit, all right? So with that, Shalom.